All right. Once again, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, and peace and blessings to the elect. Okay. Back in the book of Psalms, starting at the 69th chapter, um, David prays in affliction. He praises the Most High to the chief musician upon Shashanan, a psalm of David. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am coming to deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying. My throat is dried. Mine eyes fail while I wait for my power. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O God, thou knowest my full foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel, because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children, for the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproacheth thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Yahweh, in an acceptable time, O power, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of thine my, out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Yahweh, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh to my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. Thou hast known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before me. Salakia, my adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat. And in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them. And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O power, set me up on high. I will praise the name of Yahweh with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please Yahweh better than an ox or bullock, that hath horns or hoofs and hoofs, the humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek the most high. 
for Yahweh heareth the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moveth therein. For the Most High will save Zion and will build the cities of Judah that they may dwell there and have it in possession. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Psalm 70. David solicits the Most High to the speedy destruction of the wicked and, and preservation of the godly, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, to bring to remembrance. Psalm 71. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Yahweh. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let Yahweh be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O power. Thou art my help and my deliverer, O Yahweh, make no tarrying. Psalm 71. David prays both for himself and against the enemies of his soul for support in old age. Psalm 71 and 1. In thee, O Yahweh, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my power, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Yahweh, power. Thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge, or refuge, Salakia. Psalm 71 and 8. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength faileth, for my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me, O my power, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually, and I will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth. And here and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have showed thy strength unto this generation, and thy power to every one that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Who has done great things, O God? Who is like unto thee? Thou which has showed me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again, and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy troop, O my power. Unto thee will I sing with the harp, O thy holy one of Israel. My lips shall greatly rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul, which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are confounded, for they are brought 
unto shame that seek my hurt. Psalm 72. David praying for Solomon shows the glory of his kingdom in type and of Yahweh Shai's truth, a song for Solomon. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass and sh as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish and abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from river unto the ends of the earth that they dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, Salakia, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he cried, the poor also, and him that had no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. He shall redeem their soul all from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live, and to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually. And daily shall he be praised. There shall be an handful of corn in the earth upon the top of the mountains. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the power, Yahweh, of Israel. Only doeth wondrous things. Who only doeth wondrous things? And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. Psalm 73, the prophet prevailing in a temptation shows the occasion thereof, a psalm of Asaph. Truly power, Yahweh is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the, few, at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their debt, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, how doth the Most High know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly whose pro who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Verily I have cleansed my way, Salakia. Very I, verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocency. 
For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High, then understood I therein. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and I, and ignorant, and I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart fail it, but the Most High is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go a whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to the Most High Yahweh. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all thy works. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Uh, and until next time, I'm just say all praise to the Most High Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that rule well. Okay? And peace and blessings to the elect which are scattered throughout all the earth, man. Till the next time, Shalom.